tell you something. I'm in Canada for a work and holiday visa um, for the whole year, December last year to December this year. So and good, yeah, I lived my first. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the FAR experience where I, go, I bring you experiences from all over the world. So today I'm going to take you on a fun filled adventure in a Montreal hostel. Uh, just before that, so I landed in Montreal today and I needed a place to stay. So tonight we are heading to a hostel in Montreal. And by the way, Montreal is the largest city in the province of Quebec second largest in Canada and the ninth largest in North America and this is a historic city so founded in 1642 as Ville Marie or the city of Marie which is named now as Mount Royal this is one of the early settlements in North America so anyways I'm gonna bring you other videos of Montreal later on but for today this is entirely dedicated to a hostel life which I haven't been through all my travel all over the world so let's jump in. All right, guys. So since Mo Montreal is a historic place, and with along with its historic architecture, it feels like we are stepping back in time. So this is a hostel I booked through Airbnb, and from outside, it looks like a normal building. But let's move on. So as soon as you enter, you have your reception on the right side and this is the waiting area. They do have a storage too, so if you have luggage which you want them to keep safe, you can just give it to them. And then also they have their own pantries, so you know you can always have your breakfast, lunch and dinner here. And you can see this is the lovely map of the surrounding and then once we move ahead I never knew that they do have their own bar so I, this is one of my friend in my, like from France so we moved in and we saw the place so the place is lit the hostel was hosting a game night so everybody's playing games So that's a beautiful recreation room I would say, you can you know, pass your time, you can enjoy with friends, meet new people from all over the world. And then once you move ahead, I got to know that they have like multiple buildings, at least like five of them and they are like, you know, multi-storied with every floor has got like around 20 rooms and each room has got 20 bunk beds so you could see people around here from all over the world and it was amazing and astonishing experience for me now we are heading to our floor via the elevator so my guys like most of the people here I would say at this time at this hostel with like a uh, couple of buildings maybe five buildings they have the occupancy would be over a thousand and mostly there are young people like from all over the places from different countries over the world on a holiday working visa like they are traveling the world visiting different places gaining new experience and that is mesmerizing. Yeah, right there. Checking the shower. <laughs> yeah. You're good, you're good. So here we have our key card for every room. So I'm just like giving you an overview of the floor. So there are so many rooms and every floor has got their uh, like set of common showers and washroom which you could use. And even though in the room itself you will have a washroom which you can actually use. So on each floor they do also have a waiting area. That was so beautiful indeed. These hostels are primarily built for budget travelers or even if you're not, not a budget traveler 
it's uh, I would say it's a must experience you should get once in a lifetime so right now let's jump into our room and let's see what do they offer in our room so we do have our key card which will be needed if you want to enter the room and you could see there are at least like 12 bunk beds and this is the restroom for this particular room I must say that the restroom is quite neat and clean for an occupancy of 12 people. So in my room I think uh, there were already like 6 people and this is our bunk bed. I took the lower bed because I'm going out now and once I'm ba back I don't want to disturb no one. So again the, uh, like the balcony is closed so again you cannot go out of the balcony and that's for safety reasons but that's our bunk bed so you do have a storage here at the bottom and then you have you could see the sockets and the shelves where you can have your food clothing everything there they do have lights and you know proper charging sockets a USB socket too and again additional storage right there Now once you check in guys, they will give you a bag full of pillow, towel, bed sheet and a blanket which you have to return once you check out. So that's for your own personal use and obviously that was good enough. Now they do have a terrace, I think at this point of time the terrace is locked so I'm not able to use it but in the terrace they do have I think gym and sauna which you can leverage so the facilities are commendable I would say. So now we are heading out and we'll meet our occupants because as I said there are a couple of buildings, they have an open area <coughs> and a couple of restaurants and dining spaces so we can meet a lot of people and probably we are going to talk to somebody from Germany uh, who's traveling into two for two years into holiday visitor visa and she has already been in Canada for a an year and she has another year to go. Okay, I'll tell you something, I'm in Canada. For work and holiday visa um, for the whole year, December last year to December this year. And yeah, I lived my first two months in Kelowna, January and February, volunteering in a hostel. And I already planned for March and April going to Yukon to see Northern Lights. That was my second destination, it wasn't planned. And I was looking for a hostel where I can work for my accommodation. And um, what a day! So, from food to amazing sights and meeting new friends, this hostel experience has been incredible. So, if you are ever in Montreal, I highly recommend staying in a hostel. It's a great way to immerse yourself in the culture and meet awesome people. So, signing out for today, please make sure to like, subscribe and comment to my channel so I can bring you more experiences from all over the world. Signing out for now. Bye-bye.